Deuteronomic history is a term that modern scholars give to the six books in the Old Testament that deal with Israel's history from the time it entered the Promised Land under the leadership of Joshua until the moment it lost possession of the land. Is it real or religious? It does draw upon historical sources and data from royal archives, and it points even identifies some of those sources. It is still an interpreted history, like we have seen, behind every story there is some real event. Who is the author? In the tradition of the editors that we have seen in the Torah, the D, or Deuteronomist, is the author. And the book of Deuteronomy is seen as a hinge that connects the books of Joshua, Judges, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings. The likely associations of where the material comes from include the prophets active in the north and the priests who are engaged in the south. There may not be a single author, but a school that we can associate with the Deuteronomist. The themes that we find in these books. The role of true prophets. Those who are called by God and have a message for his people, both in words and deeds. The importance of true worship is central to these books. And the final theme is the necessity of obedience to God's covenant. We see these themes prefigured already in the book of Deuteronomy. In chapter 4, verse 1, the importance of obedience. Further in that book, the dangers of idolatry. Then the blessings of obedience. With every covenant renewal, there is a reminder of blessings and curses. Blessings for those who are obedient and curses for those who are not, who fall into idolatry. And then God's promise to send prophets those who would remind the people and help keep them faithful. In 1 Kings chapter 18, we have the rather dramatic contest between Elijah and the false prophets of Baal, where Elijah proposes a test before all of the people to show who the true God is, and his rather dramatic show of force. And yet, the people do not follow, do not become faithful. The place of these scriptures in the Jewish canon the Torah is considered the sacred book of Israel. Imagine that as being the only book on the top shelf. The Torah, the Pentateuch, also called the Law, includes the first five books of the Bible, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Of secondary importance 
are the writings of the prophets. And they would make a distinction between former and latter prophets. Those that we find in these six books, because Joshua, Judges, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, are listed among the prophetic books. And they describe the work of the former and latter prophets. On a third shelf, of less significance than the prophets, would be the collection of writings. These would include the Psalms, the Books of Wisdom, and other things.